Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation MC model. For those who really don't understand, there were two revisions of the iPod Touch 2nd generation. One that came out in 2008, and one that came out in 2009, the MC model, which also came with iOS 3 and only came in an 8GB configuration. And this MC model iPod Touch 2nd generation couldn't jailbreak with Red Snow because it had a new boot ROM which wasn't compatible with Red Snow's exploits. Now how can you tell if your iPod Touch 2nd generation is the first revision or the second revision, the MC model, which isn't compatible with Red Snow? If your iPod Touch 2nd generation is a 16GB model, then that automatically means that it is a MB model or a PB model, which is basically just the MB model, but has an engraving on the back. Now, if your iPod Touch 2nd generation is a 8GB, it's a little harder to tell if it's an MB or an MC model. Now, one way you can tell if your iPod Touch 2nd generation is a MB model or an MC model is go into your settings, general, and about, and then look at your model number, and if it starts with an MB or a PB, then that's the MB or PB model, which is supported with Red Snow. But if it starts with an MC, then it is the MC model, which obviously isn't supported with Red Snow. You may be asking, then, what tool do I use to jailbreak my iPod Touch 2 MC with? Well, there is another jailbreaking tool out there that this device supports called Green Poison, which I'll show you how to jailbreak with in this video. Alrighty, so it is now time to jailbreak our device, and the first step is to power it off. Although, when you are powering it off, make sure to leave the cable plugged in, unlike what Green Poison says, because if you power it off, then connect the cable, it will probably try and boot up. So, uh, just when you power it off, make sure to leave the charger plugged in and then once you have powered off your device we are now going to click this button here prepare to jailbreak dfu and we are going to put it into dfu mode so to put it in dfu mode you're going to hold your home and power button for 10 seconds and then after those 10 seconds you're going to let off the power button but keep on holding the home button for another 8 to 15 seconds so let's go ahead and do this here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there we go. So it recognized it in DFU mode, and now we can jailbreak. So let's go ahead and click jailbreak right here. And then it should start jailbreaking our iPod Touch. As you can see there, it is jailbreaking. And it is doing this little thing right here. But um, or after this, it should do a verbose boot, which is basically like a whole lot of code showing up on the screen. But yeah, I'll get back to you once it is jailbroken. Alrighty, so it is now done jailbreaking here. And we can see there is a app called Loader. And basically what this app does is it gets Cydia onto the device. We can delete this later. But let's go ahead and open it here so we can install Cydia. So let's just go ahead and click on Cydia. Which you need to make sure you have your Wi-Fi turned on for this app to work. Because if you don't have your Wi-Fi turned on, then this app won't work. So let's go ahead and click Install Cydia here. And it's installing Cydia. So there we go. It's a success there. And it should probably restart here in just a few seconds. Just like that. And as you may have seen, there is a custom boot logo. But don't worry, there is a way to delete it. And I will show you how to do that here in just a minute. As you can see... There is a custom boot logo there. Some of you might not like that. I mean, I think it looks kind of cool, but the little animation thing, though, where it swivels around, I really don't like that. We now have Cydia installed here. We'll just drag it over here like this. And now let's go ahead and open Cydia here. It's uh, doing this file system, whatever. So it is now finished preparing the file system, whatever. And who are you? You can select whatever. It really doesn't matter. 
but I'll just select user. We're just going to want to do complete upgrade here since this is a really old, outdated version of Cydia that really doesn't work anymore. So, you just, oh, I accidentally click cancel here and it should download all the stuff for the newer version of Cydia or whatever. So now that we have all the upgrading stuff out of the way, I'm going to show you how to delete the loader app because it really doesn't do anything other than installing Cydia. It's really, you only need to use it one time and then it's useless. So I'm going to show you how to delete it. Now we are going to want to go to search here. And then we are going to want to search Cydia delete we want to search sid delete right here and you just want to install this now that we have sid delete installed you just want to hold on this loader app here and you just want to delete it and there you go the loader app is gone and now i'm going to show you how to delete the custom boot logo so we're going to want to go to Cydia here and we are going to want to search up ifile and we are just going to want to install that. Now that we have iFile installed to delete the custom boot logo, we're just going to go into iFile here. And we are going to want to find something called user. Let me find it. So you see here, user. Then you want to go to bin. And you'll see something called animate here, which is the custom boot logo. This is the only thing you're going to want to delete. Do not delete anything else. So we're going to go to edit and then just delete animate like that, which is the custom boot logo. And as you can see, the custom boot logo is now gone. And there you go. You have now successfully jailbroken your iPod Touch second generation MC model. And if you had any issues, let me know down in the comments section, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.